Happy Monday. I hope you are enjoying the sunshine. You know, the trade-off this time of the year, often, you get these deep blue skies. It's maybe not the warmest outside. We will be moderating in the coming days. To me, the picture of the day, and this was earlier this morning, that's Mount Hood. That's Indian Creek Golf Course in Hood River. Uh, they had a winter weather advisory Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Is that colder air moved in over the weekend? Now, the advisory was for one to three inches of snow at 500 feet and higher. This is just above 500 feet here at the golf course. And, you know, they may or may not have picked up an inch. This is what was left this morning. They've only been up to about 30 this afternoon, and they have a little bit of snow left on the ground. But what a beautiful, beautiful picture um, that was. Wow. Okay, um, moderating air is a big story moving forward, but I do want to take a moment and show you what I think is going to end up being the coldest temperatures of this particular cold snap, and that's what happened this morning. So the official reports haven't come out, but it looks like the low is going to be 17 in Vancouver, 18 in Kelso Longview at the airport. That's this morning. Hillsboro, 18. Scappoose dipped to 19. And then Salem, McNary Field, and PDX each got down to 21 degrees. The record, by the way, in Portland goes back to 1950. That was a cold record of 10 degrees. So nowhere close to that. If you're wondering, the coldest we've been so far this winter season was 20 degrees in Portland. We did it two mornings in a row when we had that sleet, kind of not really an ice storm. It was more sleet than anything, but that was icy, right? That was Christmas week. I think it was the, the 22nd was the, either the first or the second day of December that we did that. And we got down to 20. So 21, close. This was the, the cold air mass as it moved in uh, to our area over the weekend. And then... This is the way it looked on Sundays. We were definitely feeding off of that. Yesterday was the coldest afternoon. Portland stopped at 39. This morning has been the coldest low. And again, we will be moderating, and I'll show you that coming up in just a moment. Some other temperatures for you. There's that view I just showed you from this morning. Hood River, 12 degrees this morning. The Dow's also got down to 12 degrees. That's pretty chilly. Now I've got one more uh, snapshot. This was Sunday at 9.40 in the morning up at Timberline Lodge. And a couple of things to note. Number one, that's the day parking lot. It would be typically full on a Sunday. Just a handful of cars. I never saw that many people in the main base area of Mount Hood Meadows either. And for good reason. It was literally dangerously cold with the wind chills up there on Sunday. So this was not this morning. This was Sunday morning. Sunday morning up on Mount Hood turned out to be the coldest temperatures. Timberline was around 8. They may have been down to 6, but the, the one I could find going back 24 hours was 8. And at that time, this was early Sunday morning, they had a wind gust of 41, produced a wind chill factor of 17 below zero. Now, earlier this morning, Timberline actually at one point had warmed to 22, and I think earlier this morning around sunup they cooled to 19. But that's a sign that was what was 8 degrees Sunday morning was now closer to 20 this morning. That's a moderating air mass. And I think you probably felt that moderation somewhat if you're out and about today. Here in the Valley, we have, in fact, uh, jumped up to 40 degrees up and down most areas between Longview and down through Portland, uh, Salem, and down into Albany this afternoon. The winds are much lighter, so I, I hope you enjoyed the sunshine. I thought it felt pretty good being outside. Here's that cold air mass. This was Sunday, uh, producing the, the coldest day. The heart of the cold air was always off to our east, the Dakotas and into Minnesota. And, and the high temperature yesterday, 39 after a low of, of 31. Again, that was the coldest day. If there was, there was one big air in the forecast going back to Saturday, I'd like to mention real quick. So remember Saturday we talked about the cold front coming in around 6 p.m.? That was a pretty good call. But then I said sharply, I mean really quick, that cold front passes and the temperatures would nosedive. And because of that, there would still be enough showery weather left over that we would see maybe an hour, maybe two, uh, mainly some flurries. There was a very slight chance of a dusting, but I thought we would see at least an hour or so of snow flurry activity early to mid-evening Saturday. That never happened. It never happened because we did not get the rapid cooling behind the front that I thought. It was after midnight Saturday night going into Sunday morning before Portland and much of the metro got down to 32 degrees. That's what happened with that forecast. We saw a little bit of snow, remember, out of Hood River. I started the weather cast for that. Otherwise, the numbers were pretty good. It didn't get as cold Sunday morning as we thought. It had us in the 20s. We stopped at 31. I think I had 26 degrees uh, for a forecast high. But here's the good news. Now moving forward. So remember what I just showed you, that purple, blue, dark color over us yesterday? Slight moderation today. And then we jumped to Wednesday. Notice Wednesday. 
the core of that cold air is all the way over here, swinging up into the northeast and still up into Canada. We actually get into some of the orange, yellow warming colors. So that's rapid moderation. How rapid? Well, wind stays high. I think we'll be back up to 50 degrees, which is basically normal now for this time of the year. So we have another hard freeze, I think, tonight. And then we'll get uh, we'll get the, a little bit of warming again on Tuesday. And there's the big warm up on Wednesday. So I hope that gives you an idea of how we're switching air masses. We're pulling out of the cold. We're pulling into the warmer weather. So our next rain chance actually comes in Thursday evening. So we have some high cloudiness coming in tonight. Depending on how thick those clouds are, we will either be more like mid-20s for Portland, forecasting 26. But if cloudiness coming in this evening thickens up a little bit, we may not get much below 30. But I would expect a hard freeze at your house overnight tonight. And then those clouds kind of clear out. We get back into some sun uh, Wednesday. Wednesday still could be upper 20s to 30 degrees. And actually Thursday could be around freezing too, but we'll be warming up during the day. So the next front Thursday evening into Friday brings upwards of a quarter of an inch of rain. Some of the models have been showing less than that. There is a vigorous low that's nearing the coast Thursday night, and it's too early on this Monday to tell if it's going to get close enough to give us a little period of noticeably gusty south winds, but it might if it snuggles up to the coast. And that would be mainly Thursday overnight that uh, we could have some winds, a little spurt, maybe some 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts shooting up the valley. Still watching that. Otherwise, that's calming during the day Friday. We talked about the rain not being that much. Snow levels Thursday night, 5,000. Friday daytime back down to 4. Not a big snowmaker up in the Cascades. We are watching the gorge mostly rain. There's an outside chance there could be temperatures Thursday night around freezing with a little bit of light precipitation out in the gorge. I don't think it would be much. And maybe maybe Hood River and Stevenson stay above freezing. But just put, put that out there. We're watching that. So here's my seven-day. So we talked about the high clouds tomorrow, either kind of a partly sunny or a mostly cloudy day. Temperature is 43. If, it, if the clouds really thicken up, it could be more like 30 to 40 during the day. If the clouds stay thin, 26 in the morning to 43, maybe a little bit warmer, but I like 43. There's the big moderation, freezing to 50 on Wednesday, near freezing to 50 on Thursday. Rain showers develop later in the day or maybe not until the evening. Wet, breezy day, Thursday overnight into Friday morning, potentially. Saturday, this could change, but right now current timing shows uh, one day of high pressure quickly coming in. Saturday, if light winds, a nice day, 53 degrees. And then the next system comes in on Sunday and into Monday. And none of this looks stormy. None of it looks like a, a whole lot of rain. So that is your Monday update. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you've enjoyed the cold weather. Again, not the coldest. That was back when we had to sleep in December. For now, I'll wish you a nice Monday evening and a great Tuesday. And I'll talk to you soon.